Today we're going to be looking at this 4 button Zigbee 2 year switch and see how easy it is to hook it into Home Assistant. I've looked at Moe's products before actually. I had a look at one of their smart radiator valves and I was quite impressed with it. The build quality wasn't too great though, so let's have a look at this one and see what the build quality of this one's like. So this switch comes in as a one button, two button, three button or four button. I've got the white four button version. So nothing fancy in the box. Uh, there is a little user manual here and it looks like two pieces of sticky tape, double sided. Yeah, that would go there. It takes a CR2430 battery. So pressing the buttons, you can hear that it makes a clicking sound, which I quite like. If you want a silent switch, then this one might not be for you. So let's see if we can open this. It looks like you push this down and then slide it across. Yeah, there we go. That's not too bad, actually. All right, so it hasn't come with a battery, so we're going to need to install a battery. Looking at the manual for this, actually each button you can have as a single click, double click, or long press. So actually with four buttons, you've got 12 different actions that you can perform. So I've just had a quick look at the manual and it looks like to get it into pairing mode, you've got to hold the first button down for 10 seconds. So once I've got a battery in, let's give that a go. All right, so I didn't have a CR2430 battery. I did have a CR2450, but that wouldn't fit. But a CR2032, which is very common, thankfully does fit in here. So if I open this up, you can see it fits in there. The battery life probably won't be as good, so it might be worth getting the proper battery eventually. But let's try this for now, and at least we can get it paired up. It does feel very light, this does. But the build quality feels very good. I suppose there's not many components inside really. So now let's try the pairing process it suggested by holding the first button for 10 seconds. Okay, so all four lights are flashing green. That suggests to me that it's in pairing mode. So now we're in Home Assistant, let's go to Settings, Integrations, and then to my Sonoff Zigbee stick, I use ZHA. So here are my devices, let's do Add Device. So I can see that now it's found the device. It stopped flashing. It's taking quite a while to pair the device. All right, it says the device is ready to use and I've called it something. So let's go back here. All right, this is very odd. It shows battery percentage four times. Right, so I've got it working in Home Assistant. So there is an odd thing whereby it shows four battery entities for some reason. It also doesn't show the buttons as entities. And I thought at first it wasn't working, but then I realized that there are some Zigbee devices whereby they act as devices rather than entities in Home Assistant. So basically when I set up an automation and assign buttons to it, then it worked. So now I've got the switch here and I've got a lamp here attached to a smart plug. So I'm going to press the button and then hopefully it will turn the light on. So it seems to respond fairly quickly. So my impressions so far of this are that it looks nice. It's quite light. It should be easy to stick to the wall. It seems fairly responsive. I did look online and there were people complaining about battery life. So that is one thing that I'll definitely keep an eye on, is to see how long the battery lasts, particularly as I've got a CR2032 in there instead of the bigger battery. So that's something I might need to address. Well, that's it for this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this where I review some products and maybe Zigbee devices, then please let me know in the comments down below. Also, please consider subscribing and liking the video as it'll help the channel grow. So thanks, until next time.